Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna rank my entire Hermes handbag collection from the worst and the ones that I kind of regret some things here and there of how I did it to the best ones that I just cannot find a single flaw in them. Of course, every single bag that I'm gonna show you I love, I adore and there's a reason why they are in my collection, there's a reason why I bought them but I do feel like I need to talk about some things here and there that are definitely not working out for me so if you're interested in that, let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Du and I make videos about handbag shoes and traveling, but mainly handbags. If you like any of those topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. Before I start into the video, I'm really excited to say that we have another idol unboxing and I'm super excited and so happy that I get to unbox new earrings that I want to show you. So if you're not familiar with idol, they basically do lab grown diamonds and I use them every single day. I love my Romy earrings. I love my my leaf earrings I have only one pair so I did just order the second pair so I have the set and I always use the Lana this is something that I have on my neck 24 7 since the first video that I did with idol I have not taken it off and I love it they have solid gold with lab grown diamonds so you can wear them all the time and I got some new things and I do have a wedding coming soon so I wanted to order a pair that would fit the dress that I want to use so I did and I was excited to try them out and it has this sticker so you open it up like this I mean the packaging with them is like an experience by itself I love the way that they do it but you open it like an envelope and then you open like this and here's the pouch so the pieces are inside here and of course I'm gonna try them on for you so I got three boxes this cute dusty pink one the beige one and the blue I love their packaging so I did order a chain for my solo three that I'm gonna show you some b-roll of that one I wanted to get an extra chain because I like the length of the one that they offer and yes this is a chain so let's go for the big box and open it up we have the two earring sets that I ordered and these ones are the ones that I want to use for the wedding. I'm going to try them on. And these ones, I wanted to try them out because the name of the earring is my same name. My name is Lucia and the earring name is also Lucia. And these ones are called Eden. So these ones are my most used ones and they are the Romy and it's like a half hoop. I unboxed these ones on my jewelry collection video, but I'm going to try the Lucia on first. So this is how it looks like. It is basically the diamond that you put here and then you have the others on the bottom of your ear. I think it's such a unique and beautiful piece and basically the EDM is just like this ones that drop and they have the diamonds on the bottom which is very very cute. And the last piece is the other set of the leaf earrings. So now I have four sets plus two necklaces. I hope that they come up with bracelets and rings because I love the quality that they have and I hope to grow my collection but I would love to know which ones do you guys like more since they are quite similar. Do you like the leaf earrings or the Lucia ones better? I'm gonna put them side by side so you can see them. Of course I'm gonna add b-roll because I know that it's really hard to tell from the video because everything is white. I even put the white backs in the background. I don't know why I did that. Yeah I love the way this one looks. Thank you so much Idol for sponsoring this video. I love working with you guys. So I'm gonna be waiting for the next one because I still have so many pieces that I have on my wish list, especially this necklace that I'm gonna put on the screen. I just love the way that that one looks. Okay, so now let's go into ranking the collection. I'm gonna start with the one that I consider the worst, which is not really the worst. I really love this bag, but I'm gonna explain why. So I'm gonna put my Picatin 18 at the bottom of the list. The main thing that bothers me is that the handles, say they just do that. So I wish that they would just kinda, I don't know. I think that there has to be a way where I can fix it, but they always look like this. So you see, I think it has to do with the way that I'm storing it. So I think that after we move, I'm gonna find a handbag hoop or something so I can have it like this seems to be more appropriate but what I'm doing right now is just like switching them like this and then voila so that's what I do the other thing that I kind of wish that I had gone different with is the hardware but the reason that I decided to do it like this is because there was no gold hardware available so I knew that I wanted nata and I found nata so I compromised on the silver hardware but I do feel like the bag could look a little bit prettier if it was gold hardware but other than that I love this bag I think that it's great I love how functional it is. I really use it a lot. So the only reason why I'm putting
putting it on this spot is because the other ones are just a little bit above it on my favorite list in my entire collection but this is definitely not a bad bag would never sell it and I do recommend it this one is gonna be hard to explain but in fifth place I'm gonna have to put my Kelly in Vert de Gris which I'm actually using today that's funny I'm using this bag today the reason why I'm going to put it here is because I like the Birkin more than the Kelly and I think that I like the 28 size more than the 25 on the Kelly it just feel like it fits way more don't get me wrong I freaking love this bag I adore this bag will not sell it please don't ask I will not sell it I love this bag still is on my top five of my collection favorites I would still choose it over other bags that I'm gonna show you like that are on top of this one but out of things that I want to note so it's a little bit more informative is that it's really hard to get in and out of the bag not really that hard that it bothers me but I do want to mention it in case it's a struggle for some people I do feel like the strap could be a little bit longer and it would be a better crossbody bag because it's honestly not the most comfortable bag as a crossbody and that's it I adore the color I love the hardware I love Epsom leather I like the 25 I love the 25 I just kind of use a little bit more my 28 which is gonna be a topic that I'm gonna explain my thought process that it was of why I wanted the 25 in the first place but that's pretty much it like there's nothing to dip love the bag in the fourth place we're gonna put my vintage Kelly 28 in black box leather with gold hardware and I freaking love this bag I use it so so much it fits so so much for traveling is amazing for working is amazing there's like I can put my water bottle inside I can put so many things inside Side and I never run out of space so I think that it's great I use it a little bit more than my 25 so that's the only reason why I put it above it but if I would have to get rid of one of them I probably would sell this one before I would sell the other one because the vert gris color is just amazing I love the fact that this one is vintage because it makes me feel a little bit more secure like using it because I feel like the back has already been through a lot what else can I do to it if you get what I mean love the box leather I love the fact that it's super shiny so it's a stunning beautiful beautiful bag that I love but I did want to note something here and it's that still not a great bag for crossbody I love the fact that it's a shoulder bag but crossbody is so annoying I do see a lot of wear on this bag but because it's vintage the reason why I wanted to put it over it like it wouldn't be fair to rate the 25 over this one when I use this one a lot and me being 5'1 really loving the 28 like doesn't always have to be the super small bag number three is gonna be my Kelly to go this bag is one of my most used bags of last year I would get it in new colors no questions asked I just love this bag so much it changed my mindset on wallet on chains in a way that I would have never expected I love the color I love that it's Epsom the crossbody strap length is perfect so I don't have any complaints on this bag I love it I use it a lot I'm rating these bags on which ones I use the most and find them more comfortable and this one is definitely super super comfortable it has compartments on the inside I use it for every single thing that I can think of and it's also a great SLG like you can put it inside your bigger bags and if you need a small bag you just take this one out of it and then you have the perfect tiny bag and if you cannot find a mini Kelly this is a great way to go now this one was really hard I was debating if I was gonna put the gold or the black Birkin first or second and I'm gonna explain why I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do but on second place and not first I'm gonna put my gold brick in 25. This bag was a dream come true. I cannot explain how much I love it, how much I like it, but the reason I'm gonna put the black first is because this one needs a twilly most of the time, so it is a lighter color, so it needs a little bit more care, and it doesn't match with almost everything as the black one. This one is in toggle leather with the contrast stitching in gold color with gold hardware. I adore this bag to death, like I, I love it. I cannot stress enough of how lucky and grateful I feel that I was able to get my hands on this bag too. So yeah, the only reason why I'm putting it here is because I need to put twillies on the handles. At least sometimes I try not to and because it doesn't match with completely everything. And I think that we know what my first place is and no explanation needed. I think I'm gonna put this in first place. Super comfortable to use. I love the size. I use this bag so much 
I don't really have any comps for it other than that I wish that maybe it came with a crossbody strap. Yeah, this is gonna be the first place. So I know that this was a bit of a random video, but I love trying to think of cons of the bags that I have. I would say that if you need a crossbody strap, then I wouldn't go for the Kelly or for the Birkin, and then I would go for the Constance. That's something that I want to note. Everyone raves about the Kelly having a strap, and I adore my two Kellys, but it's not a crossbody strap, it's just a shoulder strap. You, I think that you can extend it or you can switch the strap like that's something that you can definitely do but I still don't even think that it looks good as a crossbody bag because it has a top handle so something to note but this was really hard let me know which one you guys like better gold or black so this was my video I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos thank you so much idol for sponsoring this video and if you're not done watching I'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you want to check them out thank you and see you on the next one bye